Good morning. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernita morning headlines on August 15, 2022. The Guardian view on Biden's Green Deal, leadership after Trump's denialism. Fears for child asylum seekers going missing from UK hotels at rate of one a week. My family need my support to eat, how Indonesians came to work on a Kent farm. The Guardian, why UK farms are recruiting fruit pickers from 7,000 miles away. Government urged to classify COVID as an occupational disease. Man dead after crashing car, opening fire near US capital, report says. The Independent, man shoots himself dead after crashing into barricade near US capital. Sky News, 29-year-old Delaware resident kills himself after plowing car in capital barricades. NBC News, police, man killed himself after ramming US Capitol barrier. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un exchange letters suggesting the pair form closer ties against hostile military forces. Sky News, Russia-Ukraine war, Moscow's forces attempt advance in Donetsk, Putin vows to expand relations with North Korea, live. The Guardian, live Russia-Ukraine war, North Korea and Russia to expand bilateral relations, Putin tells Kim. The Telegraph, Russia vows to expand relations with North Korea. BBC, Putin says Russia and North Korea will expand bilateral relations, KCNA reports. Ukraine war, what are the risks of a nuclear accident at the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant amid the war with Russia? Sky News, Ukraine says it will target Russian soldiers at Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant. The Guardian, shelling kills one in Ukraine, Russia wants nuke plant pledges. The Independent, Ukraine war, Russian troops told to stop shelling nuclear plant to avoid irreparable consequences. Sky News, Ukraine will target Russian soldiers at Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant, says Zelensky, video. We must forget about divisions, one woman's journey home 75 years after India's partition. The Guardian, 75 years on since the partition has there been any change. Telegraph and Argus, what the partition means to young South Asians like me, 75 years on. The Independent, my mother was beheaded in front of me, a survivor recalls India's violent partition. Freya the walrus euthanized after crowds at Oslo Fjord refused to stay away. The Guardian, Norway's Freya the walrus put down due to fears for public safety. Sky News, Norway puts down Freya, 600 kg walrus, because public wouldn't leave her alone. The Times, walrus spotted in Northumberland euthanized by Norwegian authorities after fears of risk to humans in Oslo. Chronicle Live, Freya the walrus euthanized after drawing crowds to Norway Fjord. Trump News, Liv, Rand Paul and GOP face mockery for increasingly fractured Mar-a-Lago raid response. The Independent, Donald Trump supporters threaten FBI agents with violence after raid for classified documents. The Times, Analysis, Trump's reaction to the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago helps both him and Biden. The Independent, Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort posed rare security challenges, experts say. Gazprom has increased gas supply to Hungary, says official. The Guardian, Putin rewards his old ally Viktor Orban with extra supplies of natural gas. The Times, Gazprom ramps up gas flows to Hungary via Turkstream pipeline, official says. Reuters, Russia boosts supply of natural gas to Hungary, official says. I was a policewoman. Now I beg in the street life for Afghan women one year after the Taliban took power. The Guardian, a year of Taliban rule, how women's lives have changed in Afghanistan, BBC News. BBC News, watched, confined and sold, the world shrinks for Afghan women 12 months into Taliban rule. I News, editorial, we must not forget the people of Afghanistan. Two killed and dozens injured in huge blast at Armenian market. Sky News, Armenia, explosion erupts from fireworks storage unit inside shopping center. The Independent, fireworks blast at Armenian market injures at least 60 and kills two. ITV News, deadly explosion tears through market in Armenia's capital. Chester and District Standard, fireworks blast at Yerevan market kills one, injures 20. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.